Hey, 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 Facebook. How are you? Um, my name is Amy, and I am so, so, so excited. I finally got my dream come true. Um, I have my setup here with my vanity, and this is just a dream come true. I just can't say it enough. Uh, ever since I was a little girl, I have been to love, love, love makeup. And I always had dreamed to have a vanity with all my makeup stuff and hand, you know, that I don't have to, oh my gosh, I left it in the bathroom, or I left it here, I left, no, everything is here in one place, and I am so excited. Um, so I think this is going to make my life easier, and it, it'll make my, I'll be able to go live more often, because I don't have to break my So I live in an apartment, space is somewhat constricted so you have to maximize the space you have so having said that uh i am an independent beauty consultant for limelight by alcone i have an appointment today so i am getting ready and yeah i thought i'd share it with you so let's go right ahead i've already done my skincare my foundation uh my pressed powder um and what else did i do I put some mascara on because uh, I like to go coating my mascara um, as I do different steps so that I don't have to put on all the mascara at once. And I put my eyeliner and, my and I tight lined my lash line, so my upper lash line. That's basically it. I am now going to do my brows. Some people like to do, to do their brows. I like to do my brows before I do my eyes. Um, today, I will be using my Morphe 350 Matte Palette just because I, you know, it's good to change things up. And again, having everything readily available to me means I don't have to scram and, and go get it. So, yeah. So, I'm going to do my eyebrows now. While I do that, I think it's time to share some motivation. Uh, today's motivation is just learning to be thankful for everything and in everything. Today, church was so different. It was just, there was a, a sense of a new breath that just came upon us, a new wind to just fill us up with, with hope and expectation. The Bible says that hope deferred makes the heart sick. You, you know why? When you're hoping for something and then you don't see it come to pass, you can get weary. You can get um, disappointed. You can get tired, upset, disillusioned, discouraged, right? And, and it's you have to encourage yourself and know, okay, if it didn't come to pass now, there's a reason. It will come to pass, so let's just keep pressing in, pressing on, and, and moving on and knowing that whatever it is, if it's part of our journey, it will come to pass. And delay is not denial, so sometimes that delay is because things have to get in order in order for us to receive the blessing. We may not be right. If you are a parent, you will understand this more than anything. Um, let's say your child is 12 and says, I want a car. You have the means to give the child a car, right? You have confidence in that. Yeah, if your child were at the right age, they would be able to drive it with no problem. But there's only one problem. They're not of age. Legally, physically, maturely, in every aspect, they're not ready to handle the car. They want it. You can give it to them, but they're not ready. As a good parent, what do you do? 
you sit down, you try to explain, right? And what do kids sometimes do? Well, you just don't love me. Well, you just don't understand how important that is to me. Well, all my friends have one. Well, you're just being mean. And on and on and on, right? And that's so far from the truth. You're actually keeping it from them because you love them. Because you know that if you gave them that which they wanted at this point in time in their life, it can easily cost them their life, right? And instead of blessing them, it can be extra. So as a good parent, you actually keep it from them until the time is right. And do you not think that if you, as a good parent, are able to do that for your child? Do you not think that daddy would do the same to you? So there may be blessings coming your way that he has stored for you, but it's not time yet. So you may be in that moment of growing and maturing and getting ready for it but you're not there yet and because you're not there yet he can't give it to you so that's my anal my analogy for today if you're in a place where you have been asking you have been knocking you have been crying out you've been seeking and has not been given to you, let it go. Let it go. Wait. Wait um, for the right time. In the meantime, the question you should be asking is, is there anything in me that is keeping what I want away from having it that is keeping me from obtaining that which I want that that which I long for if, if there is so that I can claim what I want and have it Sooner rather than later. Make sense? I hope it does. <laughs> so I'm just going in here and this is just what I call my daily routine. And this daily routine will be changing as of May 1st. Because this one is up her night shift. After seven years, I am going back to, or not going back, I'm, at, I'm having a day shift. And that's going to be quite an experience. And when I mean day, I mean like early. So I'll have a lot of time to devote to other things like working out, like going um, my business and so much more. All right, so now I'm going in with a transition color, which is any color you choose that is close to your skin tone. And the purpose is just to help you blend everything out. Make everything look good and cohesive. And... So, when I used to have this vanity for years, and I saw it, and I'd see pictures. <laughs> and the truth is, I never looked into what it would cost to get it, 
because I just thought it was unreachable. Can I tell you it wasn't that unreachable? I just decided, you know what? I told my hubby, let's go and go get my daddy. And he said, okay. And so we went to Ikea yesterday and I knew what I wanted. And thankfully because of how blessed I've been with my business with Limelight, I was able to get it. And he and my son together for me and oh my gosh, I was like a kid at a candy store. I was so overwhelmed with joy. One, because they worked together to put something that was going to bless me and truly that warmed my heart. And two, because it's a time saver for me and any time my love language is act, is act of kindness because when you do something that is going to shave off time for me and help me with my time, then to me that that is just going right into the deepest part of my heart. And they both did that yesterday. So I'm really thankful. All right. So I went in and I got another palette and I just put on a little mauve type of color and that's the only hot palette here that I get to play with I have natural sunlight coming in I have the light of my Ricky to make it all better lighting um, I'll check it out on the replay and see how it really looks okay so now I'm blending just to make sure there are no harsh lines. And I'm going to go in with a little darker color on the outer V. Anyway, so yeah, so they did that for me and I was so happy. It was Mama's heart, yes. And then they, he had, my husband had to go and exchange the chair. Because the chair was not the one we wanted. And he did that this morning. And now everything is set. Alright. Because of the slight hood... that I do this my eye open so I put it where you can see it when I open my eye and not necessarily where my crease is so if I put it where my actual crease is when I open my eye the hood is going to cover it and we don't want that All right, and then I go in one last time and I blend. No harsh lines. Okay, then I just like to dust off everything that might have fallen. Dust it off. I'm gonna go in. And just put on a little more of that light color the first half of the eye. just to make sure I brighten up my eyes. And I'm 
blend, blend, blend. When I use other eyeshadows, I have to remember that they're not pigmented. And so I have to use, I'm not doing twice as much eyeshadow than when I'm using my limelight shadows. However, I'm not going to let these go to waste. So just have to do a little more work. And there is a difference in the quality of the shadow, so. All right. So that's done. I'm going to take a lot of pressed translucent powder and get it under. Done. All I need to shade a little under my eyes. During the week, I typically do not use. Oh, someone's watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. I usually don't use eyeliner in the top I don't see any comments or anything so if you are here and you're commenting I'm not sure why but I'm not able to see any type of comments so I'll have to check it out after alrighty So that's that. Now I will go in with a coat of mascara because like I said I like to go coating as I complete processes. that I have a Clint Brown song stuck in my head the one that says father you deserve more than just a song you deserve my heart you deserve my all that is so true so, so true all right eyes are done Oh, I didn't put any on the bottom lash. Now I'm just going to do my face, finish up my face with some blush, bronzer, contour. And, all right, so let's do some contouring. For my everyday contour, I just use a palette I have here. It's like an e.l.f. palette. I'm trying to get, use up everything that I have. Because the truth is, when you're a makeup enthusiast, oh my lordy, can we hoard up makeup? Come on, keep it real. It's ring. I clean out. The same way you want to go in and clean out your pantry, clean out your closet. I suggest you go and you clean up your makeup bags. You know, the one that has the 25 lips. Sticks and colors that you bought back in the day that you don't even wear. 
time to replace stuff that you know makeup does expire right just saying um all right so let me just contour my nose that's to get this nose contoured um so type in and get your uh, makeup bag and all of your makeup go through it make sure that what you have mascara six months as well as your eyeliner six months you want to avoid infections you want to avoid bacteria and all that and if you need to replace anything hit me up we have some great options great products and I'm sure you will fall in love with all of it. When it comes to skin care, if you don't have a skin care regimen or your skin care regimen is lacking something, hit me up. We can set up a one-on-one -on -one and get it done so that we make sure that you are using the best product for you and it's not a matter of replacing what you currently have it's a matter of filling the blanks right so you guys know i love my physician formula bronzer i like a matte bronzer so the chin down the neck make everything look nice all right that's done I mean my life has just been simplified in such a way I'm gonna go in with our no, I don't want that blush, no. I want this one. This is our blush number one. It's, it's a mauve. Mauve color. And hi to whomever is there watching. Hola, hello. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Done. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then I'm going to go. I actually I'm gonna leave my Santa with my makeup forever. This is done, right? So I will tell you how I keep my makeup long lasting. I learned this trick this trick from Wayne Goss. And ever since I learned it, I do it on 
I love it. I love it. So I take my pressed powder and I just press it all into my skin with a power puff. All over. Then I just take my big fluffy brush. And I take off any excess. Once I see I see that it I may need a little more blush. Keep everything going up, not down. I stroke it down, but it's on the high point of the cheek, right? Um, and then once I do that, I'm set. All I need to do is spray my 10 years younger. It is a finishing spray, right? And that will allow my makeup to stay still. It says there for 16 hours. I've not tried it for 16, but I can tell you my makeup does not budge all day. And I am not a fan of retouching. The only thing I'll retouch are my lips. That's it. And once I, once the lipstick or whatever I put on, I usually just some gloss. Once that's gone, the rest of the day I do at work is put on my Lucas Paw Paw ointment. Because you guys have told you before, my lips are very, very dry. And Lucas Paw Paw keeps them moist and very good for the rest of the day so all right this is the pre-finished look because obviously I gotta go get my hair and um, oh my lips I'm gonna put on some wedding cake today it's like a, a nice from our Enduring Lip Color line, which I love because it does stay on longer than anything else that I have. That's the longevity of it. Will depend on whether you have a lot of, um, if your lips are really oily, then you may notice that it doesn't last as long as when your lips are like mine dry. So my scent lasts a long time. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my hair. And, oh, I promised you, let me get this out of the way so that I can show you my setup here. Again, so grateful to my husband, my son, for setting this up for me. Let me put everything away. And so that you can see how I have everything set up. You deserve. All right, hopefully, I will not lose you guys. Let me just first put it, change it so that it faces. The other way you want to face the other way all right that's a look of the curtain sorry for that this is the setup it does look a little dark let me and and then once i take ricky out of the way 
that's my what I have in front of me to remind me. It says, live your dream, do what you love, cherish every moment, be brave, take risks, create your own happiness, have an open mind and heart, make a real difference, never give up, dream big, be fearless, make every moment count, today is a day. So, I leave you with that motivation. You want to definitely um, leave, make every minute count. Choose to live every minute like if it were, I won't say your last, right? But live life fully, making sure that everything you do and say, right, pleases him. And uh, wait for whatever it is that you're waiting for with joy, anticipation, excitement, knowing that at the right time, your blessing will come and, and he will look to bless you more than you ever thought or imagined. So I wish you have a blessed Monday, a blessed week. I'm going to go and finish up my hair and uh, put on my accessories so that I can get out and go to this appointment. So you guys be blessed. If you're catching this on a replay, please hit like, share, comment, and look at my other social media um, and, and, you know, join it so that you can help me build my brand in, in replaying, viewing, commenting, liking, sharing on all of that, my brand, and you're helping a fellow small business owner who's looking to uh, build her dream. So you guys be blessed. Thank you for joining me today. And I will stick, I'll put up a picture with the final look. Okay. Bye.